Well, it's raining and miserable in Melbourne today, so why not do some reloading? Uh, today I've got a new toy in the mail. I'll turn the camera around in a second and show you. It's from Duraco Engineering. It's the people that bring us the Ugly Anila and the SRT case trimmers. So I thought, so far I've been so impressed with their products that I thought, you know what, I wouldn't mind a, a full set of comparators. And when I saw a photo that this had everything in the one package, I bought it. Let me show you. So before this, I had the Hornady set and I would buy each comparator as I needed them. I'd bought the basic set, but it didn't have um, all the calibers in there. And what impressed me about this is they're all in this nice tin, powder coated. There's a couple of differences. The one good thing is that under the lid, it has a list of um, all the numbers and all the calibers it can do. So that's nice and handy to always have that and not have to stop and look online. I'll end up marking these for the main calibers that I do anyway or pull pull them aside or rearrange them in a way so they're all in a line of what I, what I usually use. Uh, I noticed a couple of differences. And a main difference that I noticed, if you look at the uh, Hornady, there's one grub screw on one side, one on the other. This one has two on each side. So I thought that's pretty cool. The double, the um, two extra grub screws also impressed me. Um, when you lose these, it's a pain in the bum to try and replace them. So it's really great that they thought about that and um, put them in the packet. Now, as far as the old set worked, is you basically had that one screw there. You'd sit that on, push that tight, and then lock that up, and it'd stay there, okay? It's, you know, no real drama with that. The difference with this set is it screws on. Now, almost much of a muchness, but I think by it screwing on, it, um, it it just seems to sit more flush, where sometimes with the Hornady set, I wouldn't know if I set it in properly and I'd check it again and pull it a bit tighter, where this screws in tight and you can feel it, that it's, you know, up against it properly. So I do like that about it. Um, I do like the fact that everything that you'll need is the, in the one packet and you can stay neatly in here and not have to sit there and sift through a box of comparators. So I'm going to put it on the vernier and see how it feels. So that one's off. Now another positive. I like to put this in the middle is that they have an Allen key provided in the set as well, which doesn't surprise me, actually, because they have they send you a full set of Allen keys uh, or everything you'll need um, when you buy the ugly annealer. So the fact that they had them in here as well doesn't actually shock me. It's nice and tight. And put that Allen key back so that we don't lose it. So there you have it. Nice and simple. It's, uh, actually, we'll put the larger one on, see how that feels. That's quite simple. Nice, yep. The one thing that I noticed um, before was that uh, having two screws on either side, 
makes it really easy to get it equal on the vernier so that when you're using it to measure you can get it into the center um, to get a more accurate overall length or um, if you're trying to work out your shoulder bump and things like that it's going to make it a lot easier so yeah i really like that i like the fact that there's four there Now, the good thing about these is, see how they're numbered? That's actually not a number. That's the calibre. So, you don't have to look up anything. I'll just screw the uh, little one on. It goes on pretty easy. Nice and flush. Do a zero. Nice and zero. So, uh, trying to do this and look past it is just so annoying. And, uh, the reason I selected the 22 calibers, I've been going to load up the. Um, it's pretty spot on, isn't it? Pretty good reading. Hmm, good. Do one more. Very good. There you have it. Now... You can buy directly from Duraco, from their website. And at the moment, I believe that they have a, a special where it's free um, freight around Australia. So if you are in Australia, uh, take advantage of that. I'm not sure on the rate for international buyers, but uh, just check with them. I'm sure it'll be all on their website with their rates. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely giving this one a thumbs up. So I've just finished doing 40 rounds, test rounds for the 223 using the new comparator. And I've got to say, it actually works really well. The one thing I did notice though, because I'm used to rocking, um, I'll just put one in here without mixing them up. Because I'm used to going backwards and forwards on the Hornady. Obviously I can't do that on this one because it, unlocks um, it from the main body and then when I got used to just going in the one direction it was actually quite easy but I found that I had to move it less to get my reading where with the Hornady one I kept fidgeting to get that lowest number it was a lot faster and I managed to get all these um, all these rounds within 0.01 of length so i'm quite happy with that so i want to see what that does to the sd on this time round. um now the reason that i'm testing the 223 again is i found that there was a difference between the 75 grain and the 77 grain where usually i would have thought that such a small weight difference wouldn't make a difference in the powder charge but my SDs were right out, so i am actually uh, increased the powder charge on them. So that's the reason for making these anyway. But that's another video. See you then.